With news of famed YouTuber Logan Paul leaving the bright lights of Hollywood for a new life in Puerto Rico, I'm sure everyone's wondering where he'll live. While he's owned a beautiful mansion in Encino for quite some time, that chapter of his life is over. His brother Jake Paul also sold his Grand Team 10 mansion in Calabasas recently at a major loss and says he's also going to be moving from LA. Is he moving to Puerto Rico with his brother in a brand new mega mansion? I'll fill you in on that and more in this video where we'll check out their properties. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Logan Paul is a YouTuber, podcaster, boxer, and more who has not only found fame with his own YouTube channel, but also runs the Impulsive podcast since 2018, which is over 2.7 million subs on YouTube. Also lyrically, like, I had a bad reputation. Some people still think I do, you know, it's subjective. Logan shocked fans recently when he announced on his podcast he's going to be moving from LA to Puerto Rico. While he's from Ohio, he originally moved out to Southern California when he started to make a living in Hollywood, first finding fame on the now defunct Vine app in 2013. His stunts and sketch comedy there then transitioned to YouTube and branched out into a variety of other content. While Logan amassed a huge following on his vlog, it's also where he stirred up some major controversies over the years. Either way, his current net worth is estimated at $19 million dollars or more. While Logan hasn't described what kind of content he intends to create in Puerto Rico, it's said he will still be doing his podcast. In terms of why he's moving, he said that he was bitten by the bug that many LA residents were feeling to get out of the city and he wanted a change. He said, I went out there to scout it and I fell in love with it. Obviously I'm impulsive and I trust my gut, my instincts. I feel like it's the closing of a chapter and the opening of a new one. Logan's younger brother and fellow YouTuber boxer and more Jake Paul also announced he He's leaving LA. While he claims he'll be moving to Florida, I'm gonna bet he'll be visiting Logan a lot in Puerto Rico too. Logan says that while he looked at other locations, he settled on Puerto Rico because of its lower taxes, some seclusion, and island lifestyle. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're checking out some of Logan Paul and his brother Jake Paul's real estate, including the mansions they're leaving behind in LA and Logan's new rumored mansion in Puerto Rico. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but if you want to know more about their other lavish purchases or latest trends in their outfits, go subscribe to Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion, expensive items, and more. The most disturbing thing about these Lil Nas X Satan shoes, they reportedly contain one drop of human blood somewhere on the soles, and not the metaphorical type. As always, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Before Logan made his surprising decision to move to Puerto Rico, as you probably know, he's lived in a nice Encino estate for a while now, where he also films his podcast. He's actually still living here as far as I know, so no word if it's being sold. Logan's home is also known as the Robert Byrd Designed Estate and located on an acre of land in Encino, an LA neighborhood growing increasingly popular with celebrities and creators. James Charles, Selena Gomez, you name it, there are a ton of famous faces living here. When Logan bought the mansion in 2017, he was super excited as one probably would be after spending $6.55 million on a property and posted videos on this channel showing the place off. The contemporary abode is located in the upscale Rancho Estates neighborhood and was originally built back in 1972 by architect Robert Byrd. It was extensively renovated by another developer more recently. The estate now boasts reclaimed wood siding, polished concrete exteriors, and features like beam ceilings, while the 8,700 square feet of space was made completely modern. There are seven beds and nine baths throughout, and Logan's master retreat has a spa-style bath and custom walk-in closet. Some of the noteworthy features include a marble-clad kitchen, a fancy wet bar, glass-enclosed built-in wine wall, and an industrial-style steel staircase. Logan has said the backyard is where the real magic of the house lies, and I can see why. It's perfect for creating content, and the park-like grounds are full of mature trees, sprawling lawns, an outdoor kitchen, and of course, a swimming pool and spa. We know that Logan also set up his impulsive podcast studio on the property so he could work from home, and he transformed the large
large guest house into a full top tier gym. I mean, it looks more impressive than a real gym. While we don't know what will become of that home or the Maverick house as some call it, we do know Logan's brother Jake sold his mega mansion at a loss recently. So let's take a look at that. Jake's longtime mansion is located in the upscale neighborhood of Calabasas and sold for $6.15 million, which sounds like a lot of dough, but is actually 775K less than what the YouTuber paid for it back in 2017. Jake announced his decision to sell this home at the end of last year in an emotional YouTube video, saying the choice was one of the hardest he's ever made. He too is leaving LA behind in the hopes of a professional boxing career. Built in 1990, this mansion spans a mega 15,000 square feet of space and is situated in a guard gated enclave in a remote part of Calabasas on 3.5 acres of land. The giant estate is secluded from neighbors behind a long driveway and the front lawn boasts some palm trees and a fresh grassy lawn. Inside you'll find 8 beds and 11 baths and the column flank mansion opens to an entry with soaring ceilings and a grand staircase. The large living room is also double height and connects to a second living area with a fireplace. There's also a third living room or family room with coffered ceiling, built-in shelves, and French doors out to the terrace. The kitchen has top-of-the-line appliances and is joined to a breakfast room and formal dining room, both of which have access to outside. On this level of the mansion, you'll also find a home movie theater, full gym, and guest quarters. Upstairs, the sprawling master suite has a private balcony with views of the hills and an attached bathroom with huge glass shower and stone floors. There's even a lounge section with beverage fridge. On the grounds of Jake's former mansion, the features include multiple patios and two separate barbecue centers, as well as a secluded pool area. Down a few flights of stairs, there's also another flat grassy space with room to add a sports court. It's still up in the air where Logan will be calling home in Puerto Rico, as some say he's buying a more modestly sized estate, whereas others disagree. But since we're here, let's look at a home that Logan might be moving into, and I think it fits the bill. It even looks perfect for both of the Paul brothers to have up some content if Jake should decide to join Logan here. The elegant and contemporary mansion is located in Dorado Beach, Puerto Rico in the upscale community of the Ritz-Carlton Reserve, and the listing price is only available upon request. So you can imagine how pricey it would be though. There are open spaces inside, floor to ceiling glass, and beam ceilings. The lot spans about two acres of land and the mansion was built in 2018. There are features like a spacious eating kitchen with all the upgrades you can imagine, as well as a formal dining room with glass enclosed wine wall. One of the large family rooms here has an exposed brick wall and plenty of space to host a party of guests. And elsewhere there's a cozier family room with fireplace. This home is essentially a tropical paradise. On the main floor, there's a junior master bedroom with huge closet, sliding doors to the terrace, and what's gotta be one of my favorite features, an outdoor tub and shower. The upstairs master suite is encased with glass and boasts a private balcony overlooking the ground, while elsewhere on the property, there's a large three bedroom guest house, which is almost like a mini mansion in itself. Let's not forget that outdoor features are perfect for enjoying the laid back Puerto Rico lifestyle, or a lifestyle like the Paul brothers. There's a luxury looking infinity pool and spa which looks big enough to be at a resort, as well as dining, terraces, sun loungers, and more, all just steps away from the beach. So now we've checked out some of Logan and Jake Paul's real estate and how the famous brothers have been living for the last little while, as well as their future plans. We now know Logan is moving to Puerto Rico and Jake is set to be moving to Miami, but for their confirmed new properties, we'll just have to wait and see. After checking out Logan's current Encino mansion in the home of his impulsive podcast, as well as the Team 10 mansion Jake just let go of, what did you guys think? And after seeing that lavish Puerto Rico mansion, do you think Logan might just buy it? Be sure to tell me your thoughts down in the comments. Either way, I'm sure any property that Logan or Jake purchase will meet celebrity standards. I also think they'll get more bang for their buck than they they did in Los Angeles. If you guys know the homes that Logan and Jake plan to move into, let me know. I really want to get to know you guys better, so please subscribe to my personal channel and check out my latest video. Drop me a comment and we can continue the conversation there. So Elise's missing person case, one thing that was a huge deal was a viral video of her in the CISO hotel. One of the staff, he goes up to check the water tanks on the roof. Long story short, they find Elise's body in there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!